see the program to find the factorial of n. We have seen this program earlier with a while statement also. This time we'll try out with a for statement. So if n value is given as pi, then you have to multiply by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. That means you got to generate a natural number from 1 to 5 or else you can also take it as a 5 to 1 in descending order. Let's generate in an ascending order. Take a main code and here you declare an i variable plus you have to read the value of n, the factorial of n you have to go to find out and the factorial value will store in an in a factorial variable. The first thing is we have to accept the value of n. Enter value of n. Scanf percentage d this ampersand of n. So let's take your n value is given as 3. So that means you have to go for 1 into 2 into 3. So do the initialization in for statement where i value will be starting from 1 and factorial value is also going to be initialized to be 1. Because there are two initializations, we are separating it by comma. Okay, and then give us a semicolon. This is the expression 1. Okay, and the condition is going to be here. This i value has to go up to n. So, i is less than or equal to n. And then here, i plus plus. And here inside this loop, you can go for statement factorial is equals to factorial into i. It is here i value has been initialized to 1. Factorial value is also initialized by 1. Let's assume here n value is equals to 3. So in this case, i value is 1, factor is 1. 1 is less than or equal to 3 condition is true. It comes to set of statement where you are given here factorial equals to factorial into 1 into i. i value is also 1. So factorial value is going to be 1. Then it goes back here with an expression 3 i plus plus i will become not 2. And checks the condition 2 is it less than or equal to n. n value is 3. 2 is less than or equal to 3. The condition is true. If this condition is true comes down again execute the set of statement where i into sorry factorial into i i value is here 2 so 1 into 2 it's going to be a 2 then again go back i plus plus i is going to be a 3 so 3 is less than or equal to 3 the condition is true so again comes to this place factor equals to factorial into i that is 2 into 3 that's going to be a 6 next when you go back i value is going to be a 4 but this time 4 is less than or equal to 3 the condition is false 4 is less than or equal to 3 the condition is false when the ex condition expression 2 is false it comes out and then you can display the factorial value by giving your printf factorial is equals to percentage d and then display your factorial variable and then stop the main by giving your return c so let's see this output in a code block. When here I have accepted the value of n, scan f percentage d ampersand of n, and within the for, two initializations are there. One is i equals to 1 and factor equals to 1. Both are present inside an expression 1. There are two initializations, so we separated by comma here, and then condition is i is less than or equal to n, and incrementation mq as an i plus plus and within this set of statement you are given your factorial equals to factorial into i when the condition is false it comes out and then it will display our factorial value plus factorial equals to percentage d factorial so let's compile this code and run this so i'll give the factorial values in three we get here factorial is equals to 6. I'll rerun it with a different value that is in 5. The factorial is nothing but 120. This is the program to find the factorial of n using an for statement.